Hiya YouTube, Simon here, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you the first of what, well, what I'm hoping is going to be several strategies on how to defeat Emerald Weapon. One of the two super bosses available in Final Fantasy VII, and one that many would consider to be the hardest boss perhaps, at least of the PlayStation era of Final Fantasy games, but I suspect you might disagree with that, especially if you follow the strategy I'm going to be sharing with you today. Now, this first strategy is by far and away the simplest way of defeating Emerald Weapon, with as little effort as possible. There's a little bit of farming required beforehand, um, but it's really not that much in uh, consideration of some of the other strategies that are used in taking this boss down. So you might want to use this strategy over some of the other strategies if at the end of the day, you just want to kill Emerald Weapon, or perhaps you just want to go ahead and get the trophy if you're playing on uh, the PS4 or Steam version of the game, um, or if you just want the awesome rewards that you get by defeating Emerald Weapon, but without any of the hassle in getting those. And the good thing about this strategy is it does require very little setup and minimal farming compared to those other strategies. However, you do not want to use this strategy if you're going for a speed kill. And just bear in mind as well that with this strategy, you are going to lose out on most of the post-battle AP gains that Emerald Weapon provides. However, that shouldn't be a big deal for most of you if, like I say, you're just wanting to go for the kill, getting the trophy, etc. Right then, so here is the setup. And as you can see, we've got Cloud here with a bunch of materia, but my other two party members have no materia. And that's because they are kind of redundant for this fight. We are going to be soloing this with Cloud. Now, that means that Sid and Yuffie, in my case, are going to be killed very quickly, and we are not going to be bringing them back to life. Indeed, you cannot bring them back to life, or it screws up the strategy, as you'll see why in a moment. Uh, but that does mean that you, there's no point giving them material to level up, since they won't receive that AP. However, Cloud can use the Apocalypse weapon if you want to gain some triple AP at the end of the fight with a couple of materia in there. But just bear in mind that you do not want to overload uh, your party member with materia, and that's because Emerald Weapon has an attack called Materia Storm, which does 1,000 points of damage for every materia you have equipped, which means that I don't want to go above 9 materia, with Cloud's health being 9,999. Okay then, so here's the setup. First of all, you're going to require the W Summon material. Now this can be purchased from the Battle Square in Gold Saucer for 64,000 BP. And then next up, we need the HP Absorb material, and we're going to link that with Knights of the Round, the awesome material you get as a reward from Chocobo Breeding. Now, Knights of the Round only needs to be level 2. Mine is level 4, which is uh, way overkill. Level 2 will perform exactly the same job, and you don't need to level it up any more than that, because it does require a lot of AP to do so, and this is a minimal farming method. Just make sure you have it paired with HP Absorb. Uh, next up, you will need the counter material, which is found in the northern crater, the final dungeon of the game, and you will need to level this up to level 5, but it doesn't take that long, especially if you're killing the movers and magic pot enemies in the northern crater, since they give tons of AP, and counter requires very little AP, especially compared to Knights of the Round, for example. Now, the reason you want to get counter to level 5 is because every time it levels, it has an increased uh, an increased chance by 20% of actually activating uh, on its effect. So at five stars, it will activate every single time. And you want to pair counter with the my materia that does not need to be leveled up. And finally, I would recommend an HP plus just to get your health to maximum. And Magic Plus is completely optional. Um, it will just speed through the battle a little bit faster because Knights of the Round will be doing more damage, but if you don't want to use Magic Plus, um, then you can just go ahead and swap this out for the underwater materia. Now, the underwater materia will remove the 20 minute timer that exists by default in the battle against Emerald Weapon, but with Magic Plus equipped, I find you don't actually need uh, to worry about that timer. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's the whole setup. That is literally all there is to it. And this strategy is going to be so simple, as you're about to see, that there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, I do just recommend making sure that Cloud is fully healed before going into the fight. And then what we're going to do is access the submarine. And Emerald Weapon is usually roaming around the entrance here. There he is. If he's not here and you can't bother to find him, just bring the sub back to the surface and then lower it again. Okay, so what we're going to do now that we're in the fight with our setup is begin by W summoning with Cloud Knight of the Round. That's it. And now we can just literally put it on speed mode and put the controller down. We don't need to do absolutely anything else whatsoever. 
the game will take care of this for us. Now, what's going to happen is, as you can see, Cloud has taken quite a bit of damage from Emerald Weapon's first attack. But because we linked Knights of the Round with the HP Absorb Materia, every time we finish casting Knights of the Round, Cloud is going to be healed to full. Yes, every single time. Which effectively means that we don't have to worry about healing. Now, you might be thinking, oh, but what if Emerald Weapon gets two attacks in before Cloud gets to cast Knights of the Round? Well, that can't happen. And the reason why is because we've linked Counter to Mime. Now, Mime, as long as we perform no other action, is always going to cast W Summon Knight to the Round. And because we've got that linked with our Counter Materia, Counter is going to activate Mime, you're like this, every single time Emerald Weapon performs an action. And because Counter is level 5, it will never fail to go off. So that's literally it. Every single time Emerald Weapon does anything to us, we're going to Counter with W Summon Knight to the Round, healing to full. Now, you don't even need Final Attack Revive combination or Final Attack Phoenix for this particular strategy because as long as you've done exactly what I've told you to do, there is literally no way to die. In fact, the only way you can fail this is if you perform any other action, which is then going to interrupt your Mime's ability to cast Knights of the Round or if for whatever reason uh, you fail to kill Emerald Weapon in the time limit. But that's not a big deal because the underwater materia will solve that if you're worried about it in any way, shape or form. But if like me, with the Magic Plus materia, you're doing about 8,000 points of damage with every Knight of the Round, uh, Knight, I should say, then uh, you are going to do this with plenty of time to spare. It won't be an issue. But you can literally put the controller down. You don't have to do anything for the rest of this fight. So let's go ahead and speed up the remainder of the battle. Since Emerald Weapon has 1 million HP, with the damage I'm doing, it takes 10 Knights of the Round to finally defeat it. There he goes! And that is the end of Emerald Weapon. I can finally pick the controller up again. And just before we finish the episode, I'll show you guys where you can get your reward from. Um, but hopefully you agree that is a really, really, really simple strategy to use. It can't really go wrong, guys. Um, you'd have to work very hard to screw that up, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, right, so we're going to head over to Calm now. The reward for Emerald Weapon is absolutely fantastic. It really is good. And if we just head over into the house on the right-hand side. Uh, Emerald Weapon, at the end of the battle, drops the Earth Harp. So we make our way upstairs in this house and speak to the old man. And he'll trade the Earth Harp for what is arguably the best reward in any Final Fantasy game, in my opinion. He gives us three magics, but these are the Master Magics. So these are Master Summon, Master Magic, and Master Command, which means that they each of these has all of the magics in that particular field. So Master Summon will have all of the summons, uh, Master Magic will have all of the magics, and Master Command will have most of the commands. So very, very, very powerful indeed. Normally to get a mastered version of a Materia, you have to master every other Materia in that group uh, for that to happen so yeah this is an awesome way of getting those uh, very very quickly and hopefully this video has helped you if it has please don't forget to drop a like and do check out the live streams i'm currently just finishing up final fantasy 7 but we have a laugh over there so it'd be great if you guys would come over and join us but thanks for stopping by today i'll see you next time goodbye